Welcome to the Dallas Roundtable on Series Set Sim. I'm with uh, Ronald and Zach. I'm Jacob Bathan on hand. And uh, today we're looking at who, uh, who's the uh, quarterback of the future. Is it Dak Prescott? I think it is. I think if he can just work on getting the ball out faster and not throwing as many interceptions this year, we can really go far, especially with the addition of Brandon Cooks and CeeDee Lamb doing what he's going to do, which is get a lot of receptions, get a lot of yards, get those clutch touchdowns. And then if Michael Gallup can do a bounce-back season, and if our uh, rookie tight ends from last year like Jake Ferguson and Peyton Hendershot can do what Dalton Schultz did when he first came into the league, that would be great. And then obviously O-line with Zach Martin and uh, Tyron Smith and new additions like uh, uh, Awesome Richards and uh, Tyler Smith of last year. That can really go far. And then uh, Tony Pollard, just keep on doing what he's doing. And I think, like, all the talk about Cooper Rush being the star, you know, there was a debate last year, should the Cowboys, you know, maybe start Cooper Rush? It was, you know, Dak Prescott was rusty, and he looked rusty at times last year. I mean, that's this year that's completely off the table. Like, it is so stupid, so stupid, if the Cowboys will start Cooper Rush. Cooper Rush is a steady hand, I, I get it. But Dak's running ability and playmaking ability just stretches far and wide past Cooper's uh, Rush's ability to, um, to, you know, to pass the ball consistently and and to use his legs. So I think Dak Prescott is the man. I, Cooper Rush is a good solid backup, but he's just not not the quarterback of the future. All right, we we will now be opening the phone lines on five seven three five one four five five seven nine. Alright, we have a caller. Hello. 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 You're on the Dallas Round Table. Yeah, hey guys, I just wanted to ask this question about Dak real quick. I mean, with all this talk about him not producing and stuff like that, I was wondering if the fans are going to turn on him eventually or are they not, like with like how he's been doing. Like is he gonna be good or are you just gonna say, Hey bro, you're not good enough, get out of here. You can't do anything. This morning we were talking to Babe Rothenberg, and he said Dak should be in the XFL, so I don't know. Oh. Uh, okay. Um, uh, I think the fans won't turn on. I feel like there will be some because everyone, you know, has their own opinion. But uh, I think if he really gets that uh, quick release faster, he'll do really well if he can just fix that up and not throw as many interceptions. But I, I do think there will be some fans that will turn on him and tell him to leave. But I also do think there will be some fans that will, you know, want him to stay because he's been here since 2016. He was the guy after Tony Romo. And he's he hasn't done a lot in the playoffs, but he's definitely done a good amount in the regular season. And, and if he can take that to the playoffs, it would be great. I know I know it's Dallas, but most, most teams, like I'm a Panthers fan, don't have the luxury of having a good quarterback as Des- Dak Prescott. So, like, stop complaining. Seriously. Panthers have gone through five quarterbacks in the past five years, and I think we finally got our guy in Bryce Young. So shut up! <laughs> I will do it for the Dallas Roundtable here on Sirius XM. Tomorrow we'll be recapping the Cowboys' NFL draft. Thanks for watching.